What's up guys, it's Chrono here again, and I have myself a little beta of a game called Warframe. Now this is a third person shooter, very similar to something along the lines of Gears of War, Mass Effect, and Global Agenda. If anyone has actually played Global Agenda, the PvE, which is actually the primary focus of the game, is very similar to Global Agenda's. There is a set of missions that you accomplish with a team of, I believe, roughly four to five, and you go to planets. Each planet contains missions. Each mission has its own set of objectives and you have to complete. Now you can alter your weapons, modify your weapons, modify your warframe. You can, there's different, I guess, quote unquote classes. I have Excalibur, which is a more balanced kind of soldier type class. And yeah, I'll, I'll start up a mission right away. I'll head to Venus. I've completed majority of these. Uh, Venera is one that I have not, that's why it's yellow. There's three different types of enemies. There are Corpus, which are like robot things. There's Infestation, which are basically the Flood from Halo. And then there are the Grinier, which are like space marines. They're just like human assholes. So <laughs> I'll go right into this mission. This will be more of a gameplay video. Uh, if you guys want, I can actually make an informational video telling kind of like what everything does, all the different aspects of the game, but this is more for action. This is what it's going to be like when you're playing type of thing. I got myself a sword, I got myself a shotgun, Steal the Oricon artifact located in the storage bay of this transport ship. and I got myself a pistol. Keep going. Nobody knows you're on this vessel. Now I chose a more difficult one. The infestation missions are incredibly easy. Because they're basically just zombies that you kill. Right, there's one guy. You actually won't even see me if I'm this far back. There's a lot of things. This game is a a co-op based game. Oh, and by the way, these they're storage containers. You blow them up, get stuff. This is a very loot based game. It's like it's pretty much like Borderlands loot style. It's uh, pretty cool. It's actually going the other way now. Now, I can't even remember what I was going to say before, but uh, I think it was something along the lines of this is a co-op based game, it is not a multiplayer game. What that means is the team who creates this and works on it can actually do a lot more stuff with it. Now there's a turret right there, and they are usually controlled by cameras. Now if I go into a mission with robots, cameras are everywhere and they are the bane of your existence. They make lasers that will do tons of damage to you. They make turrets come alive. They will do lots of stuff that is just... Swap back to my shotgun. Oh my goodness. Pretty sure they're on here now. No more stealth. But since it is a co-op based game, there's a lot of stuff you can do, like slicing enemies in half, you can slide across the ground, do a whole bunch of crazy flips, knife attacks, all this other stuff. Stuff that you would normally not be able to do in a single player game. I need to take down the shield guy. Now, the combat in this game is visceral, and I love it. Oh god. Sneak up. That guy up. Now, there's a little mine layer. Those guys. But yeah, you can slide, shoot while sliding, ninja kick things in the face, slide, knife. You can do all sorts of crazy combo stuff. It's so cool. Just saying. Now your health does not automatically regenerate. That actually counted as a stealth skill. Oh, okay. Your health does not regenerate and your energy does not regenerate. You have to manually find these little things on the ground and bring them back. I was actually trying to do... I was pressing too many buttons at once so it didn't work. I was trying to do a slide knife attack on that guy over here. Oh, 
Now the knife is pretty fun. Oh shit! That was just a knife or a slide. Shoot! Oh my god! Now that's the knife thing I was talking about. I'll do it to this guy too. Yeah, I might miss that one. You can jump, knife, attack. Now each Warframe also has its own set of kind of special abilities, which I have not showed off any of. I hear a camera somewhere, actually. And that's what's triggering those lasers. Those lasers, you cannot walk through. They will instantly take off your shield. If your shield's gone, it'll practically insta-kill you, too. Now where's the camera, though? There it is. Using my Lex, which is basically just a magnum. Super fun. Show it back to my shoddy. We've got robots inbound. Yeah, thanks. Get me. Oh shit. He's gonna come get me. Oh boy. Ah, those guys take way too many night nice days. They just keep coming at me. Here behind the shit. Well, at least the shotgun rips them apart. Oh yeah, absolutely. Pick up mods, which you can add to your weapon, and got a shotgun mod, don't know what it does. Shotgun not so good for long range. And there's another little energy guy. Can't believe I missed my second shot. Definitely a little bit of a frame rate drop when I'm uh, <laughs> when I'm recording. Looks like heavy activity ahead. Oh, another? What? Come on now. You will not be able to pass through this until. I destroyed the camera already. Oh, there it goes. It must have saw me from a different area. Oh. I was running around with the pistol a little bit. There's a lot of guys in there. Actually. Oh, there's one there. It's one of my abilities. There's another one of my abilities. But those guys are all getting shielded, and I triggered an alarm. That's the guy I want to destroy. There we go. So, oh, didn't actually mean to do that. But it blinded him anyways. Now each time you use one of those special abilities, it uses energy, which is that one of the resources I said that does not come back. Please don't be over. <laughs> when you're fighting robot missions, do not do that through doors. Because if there is lasers, you will get hurt bad. The ship is entering lockdown. We'll need to override the system. And eventually, if the enemies reach consoles, they will do exactly what that lady just said, put everything in lockdown. Which means you've got to find a console that will un-lock down. un, un -lock down. Yeah, whatever. That works. There we go. And it gives you a little hack thing. That one was incredibly easy. There are ones that are really intricate and take a little while to figure out. Die. 
camera right as I switch back to my shotgun. Go away. That will cause more enemies maybe to spawn. Oh, that door is actually locked. He's down there and he's down there. Oh, my goodness. Get away from me! Why am I using a shotgun as a long-range weapon? Because I'm dumb. But I just want to kill these guys. Oh my god, they just keep sending more. And those are the mine layer mines. They will hurt if you let them hit you. Now if I do manage to ninja kick one of these people, it will knock them down, and then I will just shotgun them in the face. That's camera. What? That actually counts as an enemy? No, I can do it. I hate those little walker things. How many are over there? Three? And a friggin' walker! You dropped a mod. Alright, I'm gonna... Uh, I gotta take out that shield guy. There we go. Oh boy. The objective is actually telling me not to go into this room. So let's... Yeah, let's follow the objective. I am just... That's another thing. Every single time you go into one of these missions, it's randomly generated. The map will be different each... Okay, now it's telling me to go back this way. What the hell? Alright, objective. Come on now. Now it's telling me... What the hell? Alright, yeah, it's telling me to go in, like, circles. Oh, there's probably another exit in this room. I want to ninja kick you. That wasn't a ninja kick, that was a knife. I'll ninja kick the next person. Where are you at? Ow, you know what I mean. You run, you jump, you ninja kick. I'll do it to that guy. Maybe it'll work. But... And then I'll just shock them in the face. And their face is not actually their face because they're robots. I don't know where their face is to get a critical hit. This is definitely longer range than my shotgun. Alright, so yeah, I, I screwed up. I went through that door. It turns out there's a door below it. And that's where I'm supposed to be going. That is one thing I think they need to fix. Are heading to your location. The objective marker for that particular type of area. I see turrets all over this room. Which means, yeah, I can see a camera right there too. I'm gonna back up. Make them come to me. Oh my god, that's a lot of them. I gotta take out the shield one. The bright ass light. Oh my goodness. There we go. May as well use some of my abilities. That would be a camera spawning me. Get out of here. Ah. 
Ah, I don't like being there. Ninja kick! Shotgun! We are ninjas now. Space ninjas. In space. Oh. Son of a bitch. That last guy hit this terminal and locked it down. Still enemies back? Oh yeah, there is too. He's actually going this way. Oh, there's another one back there too. He could stay alive. Lucky bugger. I haven't actually come across. Lock and load. I was about to say I haven't come across a lot of loot, and then I come across the storage container. Okay. He hasn't actually spotted me. Well, that worked, I guess. Didn't count as stealth kills, I don't think, but what is? All I technically have to do is find cameras and shoot them, and it counts as. Oh, there's a storage container. And one of these guys. Okay, <laughs> he just got crushed by his own creation machine. So he spawned, and he died where he spawned. He died by his spawn. That. Jeez. Leave that guy alone. Oh shit. Oh shit, oh shit, oh shit. I think my shield's dropped. Yep. Shit. Oh, that actually did a lot of damage to me too. Oh, and there's guys behind me? Damn it! Get away! Now it would be a good time to find those health things. Did any more spawn? These freaking turrets, though. What triggered the turret? I don't know. But I need to complete the objective. That's it. Now get the hell out of here. Can do. Walkers incoming. Some of you go the other way, but there's a secret room right here. Gets me loot. Possible health. And no health. You bastards. They want to watch me fail. Alright, so I don't actually need to be going the direction that I'm going. Ooh, there's a destructive room behind that. Should probably just use the magnum on those guys because I think it ends the kills. But... Oh boy! Oh, there goes all the turrets again! Oh my god, people! Holy crap! Oh my god! I get some really weird little bits of frame lag when I'm uh, recording. Oh crap, go away, go away, go away. Oh, locked door. Ah, oh, shouldn't have reloaded after that one. Oh, too bad for you. Alright, GTFO. Still could use a couple of those little health things though. Now your sprint is also not unlimited, so doing the slides, the kicks, etc., you need to be sprinting to do that. And in order to be sprinting, you need to have this red part, so you can't.
can run out, it does automatically regenerate those, so. Oh, there's a oh, shield guy. I gotta pull him in, because I can't even see the shield, dude. Or I can just rush straight into all of them, but... Oh, that guy left the shield. Or did he? I don't know. Either way, this is not cool. Hmm. I could just go to one side. And into the corner. Destroy that piece of Why did not die? There we go. Oh my goodness. Time to do drive by. Slide by. I don't know if that was an enemy or the camera. All I know is there's so many enemies down there. What the hell? Normally it's supposed to be. No, not so. Oh, those are all mines. Oh my goodness. Just spread this fucking camera just in case. Oh boy! Wanted to do. Oh. I'm gonna back up a little bit. There we go. Yeah, yeah, you come get me. Come on. Come on. Can I hit the shield guy? Not kill him if they leave the shield guy. There we go. Efficient-ish, except for the waiting. No, it wasn't really. Oh, that one was difficult. Override complete. Move on. Good. I'm trying to get to the end of the mission here. I don't want this video to be too long. Come on, come on, Okay. Walkers are heading to your location. That's the trick. I can hear him on the other friggin' side. Oh my goodness. They work pretty good. Charge into the middle of them with the dash attack. And just, just blind them. Ah! Blind them after. But that pretty much completely made me run on energy. Ah, more of them? Open the elevator door. Come on, elevator. Get out of here. Son of a bitch. So there's just more of them waiting for me at the bottom. Of freaking doors. Alright, 
What else do we got? We got any cameras? I hear something moving. Got loot. Oh, a ton of money on that one. Oh, this is actually the end of the mission. Get everything I can, man. Nothing over that way. I can hear an enemy below me, though. There he is. Come on up. Come on up, friend. Fine, up to you. You'd figure that the knife, the knife would have done the job, but I guess not. I'm not gonna check if there's loot back there. Complete! Mission complete. Excellent work, Tenno. So that is basically how a mission goes in this game for, I guess, the robots and this level. As you level up, it gets progressively harder. Evidently, you know, you fight harder enemies, they do more stuff. Yay! Give you a little thing at the end, rewards, blah 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 blah. And then yeah, so now I've completed Venus, so I can go to Neptune, Uranus, Pluto, Mars, I can go to Earth. This is where the Grinier are. This is level 15 to 20 stuff. What level am I? 16! So I could, technically. Also upgrade some stuff. Ugh, I don't need to upgrade anything. Currently it is maxed. You can use uh, certain materials to upgrade. Now, if I can actually get to a position where I can explain that. All right, I'll just use the Warframe an example. I've completely upgraded my Warframe. You start at shield capacity. Or slash dash, I believe. And it moves to shield capacity, and it becomes a tree that each point in each level that you get with the Warframe, you can put into more and more stuff. And if you get one of these upgrade things, Orokin Reactor, uh, you can upgrade the suit to gain even more abilities. As shown, all the gray abilities there are things that I could potentially learn. And I believe you can do that with weapons as well. So if I look at my shotgun, that is not what I wanted to do. There we go. Click on that, and there we go. So you get a whole bunch more stuff. Rate of fire, crit damage, crit damage, lots and lots of crit damage. And you basically just upgrade your weapon more and more and more so it becomes more powerful, obviously. Now, I can actually take a look at the weapons. Currently, I'm using a shotgun. Because shotguns is, you know, amazing. You start with the MK1 uh, Bratton. It's like a, it's just a rifle. It's like an SMG slash rifle thing. Uh, and as you go through missions, you earn credits. And with the credits, you can buy more stuff. There's a burst rifle, there's a semi-auto rifle, there's a shotgun, there's a sniper, there's the upgraded version of the uh, starter rifle. And then there's these three that you get just through leveling up on level one. I think one of these unlocks at level 2, I think that's the boar. Level 3, I think, unlocks the gorgon. Blah, 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 blah. Bunch of other stuff. So that's rifles, there's pistols, you can get dual automatic pistols, you can get basic normal pistols, you start with the Lado. I upgraded to the Sycharis, which is a 3 round burst, and then I upgraded to the Lex. Now I'm thinking of buying this though, because this is a one-handed shotgun, and that doesn't sound like it would be uh, too bad at all. But I'm just saving up, hoping maybe if I get a sniper rifle in one hand, like primary and then shotgun in the second, uh, that seems like a pretty good combo. And then your melee weapons, you can get a axe if you level up. Hammer, you start with the Skana, which is like a sword. You can upgrade to Furax, which are like fist weapons. Then you can get dual Skana, you can get a bow staff. And the sword that I have is called the Cronus, which is actually a custom sword. You have to find a schematic in a mission, which is actually what I came across here and said, I don't know what I'm doing. Now I can explain that. You put the blueprint, any blueprints you find appear here, they tell you what you need, and then you use 
whatever that, and the manufacturing cost, 15000 and it costs 12 hours to build. Now, once you click build, you'll get another button there that says rush, which you can use the uh, purchasable curren currency? currency called platinum, and you can rush a build immediately. So I just immediately built it because I really wanted the sword, and I was not disappointed. It's an awesome sword. So that's kind of how the foundry works. You get blueprints, yada yada yada. Now I think you can actually do that if you find a blueprint or you buy a blueprint for these. So the rhino is what I want to be working towards. These are the different classes. We have ash. Ash is great for players looking for a more stealthy approach to combat. Lethal abilities are complemented by powers of distraction. Mag with full command surrounding magnetic energy. Mag is an expert at enemy manipulation. Rhino is a heavy warframe, combined offensive and defensive cap capabilities. Pretty much, I just want to run into people, and I think that's what Rhino would do. Trinity's, I, I think, support player, with supportive role. Warframes with healing tech, uh, rare, making Trinity a great equalizer when the odds are stacked against the Tenno. Loki is one of the starting ones you can get. Uh, is he? He can stealth and do like all kinds of crazy distraction stuff. So desired by advanced players, Loki offers a variety of specialized reconfiguration and abilities. The creativity of Loki's powers allows players to master the battlefield through manipulation. Yeah, he's I think the only one that can actually cloak, like become invisible. Ember, nightmare to light armor targets. Ember can superheat the air, which opens up some crowd control possibilities. Volt's the third that you can get. So Excalibur, Balance, and then Loki and Volt are the three primaries that you can choose. Volt can create harness electrical elements as a high damage warframe. Perfect players want to play potent alternative to gunplay. So yeah, you can shoot lightning and do a whole bunch of crazy crap with Volt. So you can buy these and upgrade, or you can find, I believe you can just find the blueprints in the field and be able to upgrade through that. Now in order for me to get Rhino, I need to be level two. I am like 90% of the way to level 2. So I will be getting that shortly. But that's basically how you change your class in the game. You use, you go through with your current, gather up materials, buy the actual, you know, Warframe schematic, and then build it, and then become it, type of thing. But that is a uh, quick look at Warframe. This is the system. Now it's opened up a whole bunch of new planets that I can go to since I completed that. If I go, holy ass crackers, that's a lot of stuff in Uranus. <clears throat> yeah. This is level 10 to 15, so that's actually not so bad. If I go to Earth, I think I really looked at that, 15 to 20. If I go to Saturn, that is level 3 to 8, really? Wow, low. It doesn't tell you the, the stuff at the end until you unlock it. Pluto. 35 to 50. Ooh. Yeah, not going to that one. But yeah, so there's a whole bunch of missions. There's a lot of different stuff you could do. Unfortunately, they are. They did say they're adding. Currently, there's only a certain few amounts of, I guess, areas. Like, you're usually always on a ship. Always. Like it's a ship. Sometimes it's an icy ship. Sometimes it's an infested ship. Sometimes it's a ship with lasers, like the one I just went through. But it's usually always a ship. Now they said they're adding green uh, new type of tile sets, so there might be some new stuff coming in the near future. This is beta. They can add as much stuff as they want. I would not complain. But uh, I will add a link in the description to where I got my beta key. It was actually really easy, it was at Ink Gamers, they had just a button, it's like press the button, get a key, bam, done. So if you want to try out the game and they still got some keys left, just go to there, hit the button, get the key, make an account, and come play. It is actually really fun. Uh, I've been Chrono, taking a look at Warframe here, and I'll see you guys next time.